Hi. I think this is the fourth Zero Waste um, journey month vlog that I'm doing. This is February. We've hit a brick wall. I am mentally not doing well and it's making these, this, this Zero Waste thing very hard. So this episode is going to be all about mental health. It's going to be really zeroing in this month on what I can sacrifice and what I need for my own mental health to keep and finding a compromise between those two. Meanwhile, focusing on restorative action, focusing on finding people who also do zero waste where I can talk about all my problems, focusing on reading books that are constructive. Yeah, so this is the mental health episode, and I think it's going to be the most important one. So I have today, because I don't haven't felt so bad as I do today in a very long time, ordered pizza. But I've tried this new place that do vegan pizzas. So this month I've decided I can't compromise on my pizza buying. But what I can do is uh, buy vegan, which I haven't done before, so this is my first ever vegan pizza. And secondly try to find some sort of container so that I don't use the paper one. So either just like a big box, flat box, or I bring with me the baking paper and use that next time on the bottom so I can reuse the same box. Either way, today we're just gonna try this vegan pizza and have a good time with it. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh. First look, it doesn't look delici delicious, it looks vegan, but it smells really good. It's with fake chicken, truffle, spinach, fake cheese, pesto, I think. It smells really good. So I obviously can't eat, I don't eat fake chicken or fake cheese because they don't sell it, it's a zero waste store. It's like a lot of packaging when you buy that, buy that kind of thing. But these pizza stores and food uh, buy stuff in bulk, you know? So it's different. That's surprisingly good. Mm. Fake chicken good, truffle good, pesto good. I think it's the cheese that has a bit of a slimy artificial taste. But I can live with it. I think this is a success. So I'm actually, this is where I sort my trash. It's like the building's trash thing. And I thought I would just go through some things because the very least, the very, very least you can do is recycle. It should be like absolute must to recycle and check if you're doing the right thing when you're recycling. Um, that's honestly, that's the very least. And this is like the general trash. And look what I found. This is a perfectly good pair of like shorts. What the fuck? Once there was a woman who had like these two huge like plastic bags um, who went and like threw them all into the trash and they were see-through. So I saw that she was doing it and I went in after her and I spent half an hour sorting everything because there was a ton of clothes. There were like books in there. I know, books. 
everything was fine like there were so many things and like if she just took in the t taking the time to sort some of them to save some of them for one time when she was going to go to the second hand store to dump them off like <sighs> I get exhausted with these things so I'm gonna take this pair of pants home just watch it and either I keep them or I will give them to a second hand store let's go through the other ones because this is the this is the other one okay okay this is the general trash as you can see, here's some plastic. You can throw that into the plastic department. Uh, pizza, you can actually throw into the paper one. It looks a bit greased, but not too greased. Look, more plastic, that's paper. Then here, I noticed, this is the carton. And here's a bunch of paper. The paper is supposed to go where the paper is. And like, it's so easy. It does not take a lot of time. And still, people, Cannot do it right. Also, just to give you some perspective, this is the metal one, and look how many cans there are that could have been taken to to like be I don't know what they call it, but pont is what we call it in Sweden, where you can get one kroner for every little one of those. Maybe I'll do that sometime because like wow, there's a lot of money in here. Plastic, looking good. This one is isopur, which should actually go into the general waste. But this is pretty much the horror of the day. This right here is a lifetime supply of white socks that me and my mom found in the trash. And there is new socks in the trash and a completely fine jeans jacket. Okay, um, <laughs> Ruby is just uh, chilling there in the middle of the hay. Uh, but there is socks here. This jean jacket in the trash. In the trash, I'm telling you, in the trash. I'm gonna keep this one because jeans take a lot of water to produce, so I don't buy any jeans. Actually, I don't really buy any new clothes. I just buy secondhand and remake, but this is, would also cost quite a bit at secondhand, so I'm gonna keep it. It looks great. I can do some remake on it. Socks, socks, socks. There are like a bunch of socks here that also, uh, socks. <laughs> then we have this backpack, completely fine nike backpack i've been looking for a new backpack um to use because i have only this like super tiny one but i cleaned it and look at it it looks like perfectly fine and it was in her trash what um then here are all the socks that i'm drying um some more black socks and oh you can't really see my apartment's a mess but over there this is a dress jacket like one of those what is it called like cavalier is that what it's called and I don't know how to clean it, but it was also in the trash and it's perfectly fine. There was also some cute striped socks. I think I'm going to keep these because I think they're adorable. Also, there was a bunch of shoes, like high heeled shoes uh, in quite big sizes and some sports shoes also in like the same big sizes. And I just, in the trash. Like I'm just so shook. Why is it in the end of trash? So if I have the energy, I'm going to write an email to the building complex and ask them to write an inform form informational email to everyone who lives here, just kindly informing them about recycling. Because it's like it's, everyone should know, but they don't. And I was also wrongly recycling the rabbit um, trash. Yeah, there's a whole website where you can basically check that stuff. And I feel like everyone should know that, but they don't. So I feel like I should write an email and ask them to inform everyone. So if I have energy, I will definitely be doing that. And that's like lovingly doing it from a place of love for the planet. <laughs> also to try to stay in a state of love, I have found this beautiful background of the planet looking happy. Um, that is created by an artist called Hello My Name Is Wednesday, I think, on Instagram. And their art is just absolutely amazing. It's so adorable, it's so cute, and I want to make art like that. So I highly recommend checking them out. Their name is Wednesday, I believe. And yes, just very, very much an inspiration. But yeah, so every time I open my phone, I see the planet Earth, and it reminds me that I should do everything I do for planet Earth in the name of love. <laughs> It's hard, but like that's the way to go for me. So I'm trying to stay in a state of love 
Hi, so I will include a new little segment that I will introduce in these videos and it is a shout out to all the amazing Instagram and YouTubers that I discover that also do zero ways that you can follow and that will inspire you. I will just start with Instagram on this episode of February. The first one is Sisters Going Zero Waste. That's two sisters, Katie and Natalie. They also have some cool like graphics where graphics where they share information, but it is also quite personal. Then we have yes, Tiny Waste Warrior, which I found through a Zero Waste store and she's working at a Zero Waste store and I found her there. She also does like some graphics with like five tips for sustainable like Valentine's Day gifts, magazines you can read, like all that stuff, DIY. Um, then there are a whole community, like if you want, you know, like black creators to do zero waste, if you want like disabled people to do zero waste, there is everything for every, if you want to find it. <laughs> Glittermary, I shouted it out last time, but there is a lot of accounts who do this like perfect almost, uh, or even say like, oh, I'm not perfect, but then all they show is like all these perfect po photos and you're like, and it almost makes you feel less accomplished uh, because you don't see their struggle. So I'm trying to follow people more uh, where you see the struggle because that is what is going to motivate me. Ooh, I found an ethical plant-based cafe in Romsey. Let me see, I also found this meme that Greenpeace Canada posted, which is just hilarious. This is every single company in a nutshell. It's called, is it called greenwashing? There is a name for it. I mean, there's a bunch of like just sustainable things that share like either memes or other pages that share information that are not so personal. All these accounts are so perfect. Give me your flaws, internet. Ooh, I found one that shows you like how to create your own products, but I don't remember the name of it. And I think this is really gonna help me. It's part of my self self uh, was called self help month mental health month month feeling part of the community community is important and i don't understand how i've been neglecting it and not trying to engage much it's been a real mistake i also found this jacket it's just a winter jacket um a really warm one and I don't have anything like this. I don't have any jackets that are, are black except a leather one that I got from my grandma when she passed. Um, but like no black jackets, definitely not anything this warm. It is a bit plain for me, but I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it for now because it's actually been really useful. Um, I usually don't wear short jackets. I like long jackets. But can you believe that someone was throwing this away in the trash? I propose we do something new. It should be, it shouldn't be like thrift shopping anymore. It should be trash shopping. It's the new thing. Scour the trash for clothes because appear, apparently people are throwing it away. Then this is the like dress jacket. And I feel like I could rock this, yo. Like I could do some fun, I have a small head. So any like type of clothing looks big on me. But I feel like I could really style this. I think it's super cool. Yeah, I had this whole argument with my mom if men jackets are also singed that at the waist. And baby, that's singed, okay? <laughs> Hello everyone. So this is going to be probably the last clip of this video. It's so dirty in my house and every time I film something, I'm just like feeling this shame of how dirty everything is and it's just, I really hate that. Like, if someone doesn't prioritize cleaning them ho their house, what's the shame in that? Like, that's just not important to me. And, like, who cares, you know? It's almost like this, like, clean house elitism where people think it's, like, the norm to have, like, immaculate, clean places all the time. And that's weird, as if every time every person like prioritizes that, cares about that, you know, has the time to constantly cleaning. I hate that. So in my videos, we have a dirty all the time because it doesn't bother me as much to live in it as wondering what other people think when they see my videos, which is dumb. So we're gonna stop that. This is all the trash for this month in total. Plastic, regular trash, 
This, no, this is paper. This is cardboard. A lot of cardboard, a lot of it is, we have three pizza boxes. Then we have this inside here is like all the small paper things. Then we have like book packages. And these two big boxes actually from last month that I thought I would save to in case I was going to send something to someone else. But it just looks like it's not going to happen. I don't have anything to send to anyone else. But yes. That's it for this month. We're just gonna go ahead and weigh it. Oh yeah, computer. I need to document it. There's a lot of, actually, vacuum bags in here. When you have bunnies, there's a lot of dust everywhere, so I need to vacuum quite often. And I need quite a lot of vacuum bags, and I don't know, like, the only way to solve that is to buy a new vacuum where you don't need to have a bag, you just empty the container that vacuums it up. But buying a new vacuum is a lot of trash already so i think this is just better to keep it be what it is 1.1 kilo why is that so much i'm gonna weigh it with this one the small one see if it makes a difference so it's more like 1.02 more accurately it makes me wonder how accurate my other trash was like weighing it with this one instead of the small one plastic 1.01 0.05 .01. 35 cardboard oh boy oh boy 2.25 zero metal trash zero glass trash how much is that in total let me get my phone what oh my god 4.4.63 it's 4.63 is my best month yet shocking it's also the shortest month wilma so december i had 4.8 i know it's just not a big difference but it is a difference like a three-day difference maybe wow why is this i mean i only measured it today could it have that big of an effect that i didn't catch up in the middle of the month perhaps anything else i stopped trying so hard this month I, I was I was really tr telling myself like this was the self care episode um, or mental health episode or whatever you want to call it whatever I called it and I read some self help books you know like how they say like your attitude to everything it, it changes everything like you know like is this even real I know that sounds so like spacey and weird but like how you perceive the world is the way the world is and I think in lately why I've been feeling bad is because the way I see the world is what I see as reality and obviously it is my reality but it's not always the complete reality and it's much more reflection of like how how I perceive it than the actual state of the world a couple things I did I have joined a was it called a action group for uh, Extinction Rebellion and I felt like this was really helpful because I I finally decided to like take action in an organization, okay it's not an organization, in a movement, take action in a movement and I am getting in touch with people who want to do what I do and talking about that. Then two days ago on Sunday, the last day of February, we had the climate fiction, climate fiction book club live stream with Sim and Sage and it just reinvigorated me. Um, in many ways, I think being home, and maybe I know a lot of you can relate, like I don't have a partner, I don't have family that, I'm, that I am home with, and so because everything becomes like a thing I have to bear for myself, and finding that community and realizing that people do care just because you don't see that they care, or because you're not talking to the right people to care doesn't mean that they don't exist, and really finding that community is so, 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 so important. And I cannot stress enough, like, how important it is to, I don't know, like, join a book club that talks about whatever you're interested in, um, join an organization or a movement that does what you do, so you don't have to be a lone activist, because not only is that, inc like, completely ineffective, but it's much less powerful and makes you feel powerless when there is, like, so much support to be had out there, and I think it's very powerful to find that support. I've followed loads of Instagram accounts that do zero waste and it's also made me feel so much less alone 
and a lot of people talking about how there no one really lives zero waste and that it's not a goal it's just a constant light small lifestyle shifts and some periods you do more of it some periods you do less and that there's no goal it's just zero waste is almost like a movement too and it's not it's not yeah it's not a complete goal it's just like a constant process and realizing that and knowing that for example if every single person just did the little effort i would be doing we would make like a huge change and i'm not saying like everyone be like me but those small differences if it was a global shift would make a huge difference and that it's not my responsibility to overcompensate for everyone else's flaws and everyone else doing the okay not everyone else but me perceive see my perception is that everyone doesn't do their best for climate change when i think it's actually people do much more than you think um anyways so here are some concrete steps that i think almost every person can be conscious of making um change your electrical bill to uh, sustainable electricity if you have the money and if possible pop possible the more people do it the cheaper it be becomes so if you're one of those people who have the financial aid do it so that um, it becomes cheaper and the min minority is able to afford it quicker. Poor people are not a minority, they're a majority, so the majority can afford it quicker. Like, do public transport. I only go with the metro and the bus. I don't have, I don't have a car, I can't drive, which always like, makes me have to, but I also live in the city, which makes it easier. You can, the very least, recycle, but Try your best to limit any plastic use. The way you can use this is bring containers if you take takeaway. Very easily done. And just try to like think ahead. Like if I go out now, am I gonna want a coffee? Bring a coffee cup. In Denmark, they don't do you can't bring your own coffee cup because of corona, so maybe that is an issue. Then don't be hard on yourself. If it's not possible, don't be hard on yourself about it. Other things you can do to limit plastic, um, choose grocery shops that naturally have less plastic in them. Choose shops that are independent, that also goes for grocery shops. There are a lot of immigrants that have these food shops um, close to where I live where they do do uh, less plastic. And a lot of times things that are organic can't be named organic because legally there's a lot of things you need to do to be named organic or free range. And it doesn't mean that the products are not that, but that they don't have the money to get that label. So there's a lot of things going into zero waste and conscious, like sustainable living. And there's small shifts that make a big difference. And just ask yourself, like, what in this moment can I do? And no change is too small. Like, I've changed my toilet paper that I don't buy toilet paper anymore. No more. And I cannot explain the freedom I felt when I realized that I... If I want to, I never need to buy toilet paper for the rest of my life. And like, I know that's so small. And I, I just for like the fun of it, I calculated that if you don't buy toilet paper for the rest of your life, as in from birth to death, you'll save like 21,000 crowns, which is a lot of money. <laughs> but like, you know, if you stop smoking or if you do all these other things, like, you also save a lot of money. But it's, like, the small things that feels very gratifying. And I think that's why also people like to grow stuff yourself or, like, have your own compost. Like, it's just very satisfying to know that you live more sustainably. And finding, like, the, you know, you say, like, gender uh, euphoria. I feel like there should be, like, a, a sustainable living euphoria, you know? Because it definitely exists and, like remembering that and feeling that joy is really powerful and it also goes into feeling the joy for the planet so i hopefully this episode was a bit more fun and exciting not so heavy and hardcore oh also don't buy new clothes try to find everything you want to buy secondhand before you buy them new um, there's also rent. You can rent stuff if you only need like certain products for a certain amount of time. Especially if you have children, this is a great option. Renting toys and renting clothing because they grow out of it so fast and get disinterested so fast. But you can also do with the like, kitchen utensil utensils if you don't need them um, longer period of time. Like literally anything. For example, if you only need use a heater over the winter, maybe you can rent a heater. I haven't looked into this, but I find it really fascinating. And those are other things you can do. Okay, that's it. That's it. Also, I know like this is this seems like a lot of plastic, but when I started this, I had three less rabbits. <laughs> Since I started Zero Waste, I've accumulated 
three more rabbits, which means there should be a ton more plastic, but it hasn't really increased, so do the best you can, be happy with what you do, and love the planet in the best way you can, that's all I can tell you. Uh, take care of yourself, self-care, community, so important. Seek that if you feel like you don't have it, uh, because it's out there, I promise you that. So I wish you all the best, uh, sending you all guys so much love, and talk to you guys soon. Bye! Oh my god, this hair, did I look like this the whole episode? Well, you're welcome. <laughs>